investigating the National Teacher Awards. For many years the National Teaching Awards have been the indicator of excellence in the field of university education. In more recent years the awards have been flooded with controversies. Unlikely winners of course are public to ask questions of bribery and whether the awards have any sense of authority at all. I'll be putting myself in the firing line to try and uncover who these four finalists really are. The first of the finalists that I'll be visiting is Garen Evans of Bangor University. Come on, look at my bow tie, look at it. It's perfect, all right? My hair, lovely, extra gel this morning. I'm fine, thank you. Actually, it is 11 o'clock and I don't have my tea. Uh, I didn't think you wanted any because of your interview. Of course I want my tea. I'm not a fucking animal. I'm the head of natural sciences. And I'm sure these lovely guys here would like a cup of tea. That's right, lads, isn't it? Uh, no, 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 no. Don't be polite, Gwyneth. Off you go. Five teas. Thank you very much, please. Does anyone want any sugar? Oh, woman! Just get the whole pot and a spoon. We can take care of it ourselves. We are grown boys. I mean, she's lovely, but she's not the most stable element in the periodic table, if <laughs> you get what I mean. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you want to press record on the camera as well. Um, yeah, right. Thank you. So, basically, who are you and what's got you here today? Okay, so, hello, my name is Geraint Evans, and I am one. Sorry, can, can you speak normally into the microphone, please? What, well, and this can pick it up? Yes, they're, they're very good, yes. Really? Bloody modern technology, I like, I love that. Alright, so I suppose I'm Geraint Evans. I'm one of the finalists for the National Teaching Awards 2012. Um, yeah, sorry, I meant with a bit more detail. Who are you? You know, who are you? I got you. I know, I know exactly what you mean. Don't worry. Okay. So, my name's Gary. No, and I've just done that bit. Okay. I, I'm 34. I'm a local boy, grown up here in Bangor. I, I actually went to university here at Bangor. I've, I've never left Bangor. But anyway, I love science. I, I love it really much. Um, lords and lords and lords. For my entire life I've studied it, I've, I've lived it, and um, you know, basically just been a part of it my entire life. I love it. I love science. Okay, thank you. So, what have you achieved to bring you such a prestigious moment in your teaching career? Like, you know, um, what's on your personal list of achievements? Okay, right, uh, list of achievements, I suppose. Well, the major one, number one, I am the head of natural sciences here at Bangor University. That's a pretty big one. Uh, number two, I guess I'm. Uh, I, I am a. I am a. I, 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 I am a professor of biology. I, I am a professor of physiology. Uh, I, 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 I tend to dabble here and there in a little bit of genetic research, but that's mainly just to help out other faculty members. It's just for fun. I like. I like it. 
and, and, and you know, and, and, and from doing that research, I'm actually, uh, I, I, I'm actually quite respected here at the university. I, I've got a lot of friends. Yeah, I've got, got, got a lot of friends. All right, guys, how's it going? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Sweet. Like, yeah. I suppose you've seen all the camera crew around here today. It's because of me. National Teacher Awards 2012. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, down the pub later for a celebratory drink? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Great. Right, uh, I'll see you there about seven, shall I? I'll see you there, will I? Great. <laughs> so, so that's four. Let's see. I, I am a personal mentor for a lot of my students. Um, you know, I, I, it can get very stressful coming to the big wide university. So, I like to be there as a sort of a mate or a big brother kind of figure. You know, so you know if they want, they can come to my office. And they're all stressed out, and be like. I just, I just, you know, I throw him a, hey, where, you oh, don't worry about that. And they're like, yeah, cool, thanks, thanks. And it, you know, it brightens up their day, so. It just makes me feel better about myself. The next finalist we spent some time with was Professor Stanley Taylor of Bradford University. Just start with you mm. saying your name and what you do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Stanley Taylor, head of sports science. And how long have you been here at Bradford University? Not too long, actually. I've only been third year lecturing. But, you know, I find this, it's alright because I'm younger, I've got a slightly better connection with the students. Um, you know, I, I, I get really well with, with a special couple, cool teachers, pets, if you will. teaching awards? Well, you see, I believe in my students. I believe in so much that I'll sacrifice my time, my personal time, to make sure they're as uh, comfortable as possible. I always believe that a rigorous one-on-one -on -one session leads to the best results. Right now, man, you feel like I'm going straight down, straight away. Some say that your one-on-one -on -one sessions can be in some respect rather too personal, almost intruding? Intruding? No, no, I've just been thorough. As a proper nerder, I've always done jobs properly and thoroughly, alright? So, what's your opinion on the rumours that you have, on occasions, had intimate relations with your female pupils? How do you know that? I mean, who's been saying that? After an interesting day with Mr. Taylor, I decided to travel on to Westminster University to get to know performing arts professor Mr. Wolfgang. How is I can tell you? I can call with you. Oh, welcome, welcome. This is Wolfgang, welcome to the dance studio. 
Guten Tag, I am Wolfgang und this is my Wolfgang. And I will be the winner of the National Teaching Awards 2012. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, I like your enthusiasm. So, how long have you been teaching here? Well, no, no, excuse me. I, I do not teach. No, 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 no. I harness my students. I discipline them and I let them blossom. Nine, what are you doing? I'm trying to teach you here. I do this for about six years here at, at Westminster University, but I live the last my entire life. Well, have, have, have you done anything I may have heard of? Let me think. Have you heard of a film called Scarface? Yeah, of course. Were you in Scarface? <laughs> no, I don't know. It's in something much better. The German adaptation. Mine face. An all in all classier film. Say good tag to my kleine gefuchs geschehen in the fucking day. Wesley, what are you doing? I told you, it's two to the left and one to the right. You do like this, you're going to hurt me. Uh, Mr. Wolfgang? What is it? As you know, you're one of the nominees for the National Teaching Awards. How does it feel to be one of the last four finalists? Well... Let me put it this way. How do you feel about the pedestrianisation of North City Centre? Well, I, I'm not actually up to scratch on that, but uh, it's fine, I guess. Precisely, it's fine. It's just fine. OK, right. So, I understand you live, as quoted here, a postmodern lifestyle, incorporating the Wolfgang diet. Care to enlighten me? Yeah, of course, for sure, yeah. But basically, it was invented by me, Wolfgang. And what you do is, you have one type of food, and that is it for the week, and you change it each week. So this week, I'm on the tangerine diet, Peter. See that? I swallow. You want to take this into consideration for the future. No. But yeah, 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 it's, it's good diet. You know, I mean, look at me. I'm beautiful. Right. So I've seen posters around the university uh, advertising your latest production, uh, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's good. It's good. It's a little you know student production for my pupils, but uh, yeah, it's a good experience for them. You, you well, you you say a student production, but you play the lead. Well, obviously, <laughs> would you let one of these cretins take the whole show? Hey, <laughs> only Wolfgang can do this. <laughs> I mean, so many times I try to be creative and they just hold me back. And I want to make this, you know, Wolfgang quit the desert, but no, it's again creativity stifled. Who is this Priscilla bitch anyway? I'm, I'm sorry, I cannot do this. I, I need to go. <laughs> After a rather eye-opening session with Mr Wolfgang, the crew and I then travelled to Essex University to meet the most controversial of the finalists, Reginald Wilson. Good afternoon, my name is Reginald Wilson and I am a Professor of Business here at Essex University 
and uh, one of the finalists for the National Teaching Awards. So, Reginald, um, how long have you been teaching here? Uh, oh, say, what, around about five years or so, give or take a month or two. OK. Well, I, I believe you're a keen businessman. Before this, an entrepreneur of many ideas. You managed to bankrupt... No, no, no I, was, I was an entrepreneur, yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was a keen businessman, very successful. But I thought, no, it's time to give back to the kids, you know, so I thought I'd teach a little bit, you know, pass knowledge on. So that's, that's, that's me, I'm a teacher, that's it, I'm a teacher, not a businessman, a teacher. Yes, um, quite. But didn't you regardless manage to bankrupt your former uh, badger flap business? <laughs> I mean, what even is a badger flap? Look, mate, look, first things first, it wasn't bankrupt, I liquidated it. That was my decision, OK? Secondly, how can you not know what a badger flap is? You special or something? Uh, no, I'm not, but I am still rather unenlightened as to what a badger flap actually is. Right, OK, basically, it's the 21st century, isn't it, yeah? People want more and more exotic pets, but not everyone can afford it. So my badger flap allows people to do this for a very reasonable price. Hmm? OK. Now, all you've got to do, once it's installed, get a little bit of bait, just put it by the flap, and before you know it, you'll have all manner of creatures coming in your ass. Coming in my what? Coming in your ass? Oh, sorry, sorry. Coming in your house. Oh, right, yes. I really want a pet, but cats and dogs are way too boring. I need something exotic and exciting in my life. Hmm. Badger flap! Oh wow! A badger! I'm so excited for my new pet! It's amazing! Badger flaps! They excite everyone! Badger flap may not allow badgers into your home. All sales are final, no refunds with or without receipt. Badger flap corporation not responsible for any harm, maiming burns, loss of life to any children under the age of four. Badger flaps are dispatched within 84 days, so dispense service charge for the assembled product, total service charge 50%. Haven't you just uh, remarketed a cat flap as a badger flap? Sorry, mate, are you seriously trying to compare a cat flap to a badger flap? You're going Radio Rental, sir. Radio Rental, son? I, so, what? You no, know, Radio Rental, Chicken Oriental, Mental, come on, son, keep up. OK, yeah, right. Uh, anyway, this year's awards. There's been a lot of uh, speculation about your teaching credentials, uh, especially how you obtained this particular position as a finalist. So, but what are you trying to imply here? Oh, well, I, I, I imply nothing, Mr Wilson. Uh, so how do you respond to the allegations of you selling suspicious goods on university property? No, nah, mate, you got it all wrong, yeah? Your facts are rubbish. I'm so clean they call me Dad's, yeah? It wasn't a Dad's doorstep challenge, it was a bloody Reggie Wilson doorstep challenge. <sighs> oh, hello, mate. Let's see, uh, you're going to do my shot, do you? No, it's done it for you. What are you into? What are you into? Anything, anything. anything. I'll be more specific now. How about Christmas presents? How about that? Tell if you love ones. Maybe not Christmas presents. How about birthday presents? Everyone's got a birthday. Everyone loves Ralph Lauren. Fucking Ralph Lauren. Look at that. Lovely. 20 quid. For you, son. For you, son. I'll do you £15. How about that? £15 for Ralph Lauren. You want it? Oh, come on, mate. Alright, a tenner. £10. £10 for Ralph Lauren. Yeah. Fucking hell, alright. Like computers, don't you? Like computers? Yeah, yeah. Got a nice, nice printer here, nice big boy. That can print. Uh, what about what, what that there? What that? This thing here. Oh, it's a lovely little computer. It's set you back about 300 necker, mate. In the shops, about a grand, this one. About a fucking grand. Look, you can, you can press buttons and stuff and all, do, do all that. Sorry, mate, one second, I've got a phone call. Hello? Oh, what are you saying, mate? No, no, just down the car. Yeah, yeah, I'm also mugged, not buying fuck all. Yeah, yeah, alright, yeah, so. Alright. Right, mate. Cheers, Rebecca. Bye. Alright, that's all about it, mate. Alright. <coughs> so you like this computer, do you? You like it? Yeah. Yeah, you're interested. Yeah. 300 quid? No. No? No, 300, no. Well, not 300. Alright, alright. Alright, as it's soon, mate. Heads on, feeling extra special today. Let's go for 250, yeah? 250 quid. 100. 100 pound? You're mugging me off, son. 100. I can't do 100. I can't do 100. Wait, I've got another call. Right, no. You are editing, yeah? No. Yeah? Avid media composer. You do 200 pen, I'll do it to you, 20 quid. 20 quid straight out, come on, mate. Alright, yeah, yeah. Alright, lovely, lovely. Right, so you want his gift wrapped? No, that's alright. No, alright. Uh, I suppose take it easy. That's 20 quid now, mate. That's 
take that and uh, there's your box buddy, alright? Cheers. Yeah, oh. sweet, sweet. Oh. If you insist, Mr. Wilson, I suppose. Yeah, I do insist. I'll... Sorry, one sec. Hello? Yeah, hello, John, my old Mac. How you doing, mate? Yeah, you alright? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, cool. No, I've only got about three left. Two, one. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do that for your time, mate. Alright. Alright, cheers, mate. Bye. Alright. So, you were saying? Yes, I, I was saying. Um, what say you to the allegations of selling grades to students? So, yeah, yeah, Mr. Wilson, about the um, grades, could you sort me out? Yeah, it's no problem. Have you got the money, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Should be all there. Looks about right, yeah. Oh, cut off notes. Uh, right, son, uh, there you go. Look here, sunshine. You're heading in a very unhealthy direction, yeah? And it's going to benefit the both of us if we finish here, okay? But, uh, No, no, seriously, I've had enough. This interview's over. Thank you very much. Goodbye. After our initial introduction with Reggie, we're unable to arrange another meeting. The suspicion rises further in this mysterious man. Come on, Gwyneth, hurry up. It's, it's ten past seven, they're going to be here in a minute. Come on. Sorry, Down sorry. On the table. Right. And you spilt one. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. No one's going to be my real... I, no one's going to want to chill out with me when they've got a spilt pint. Sorry. Fucking hell. One task. All I ask you to do, and you fucking spill it. I didn't mean to. What are you doing drinking anyway? You don't Sorry. drink. Sorry. Not in my company anyway. Just a little gin and tonic. No, but you know the contract we had at the beginning. You're my Sorry, bitch, yes. basically. You don't drink around me. Mm -hmm. I drink around you, okay? Fuck. Oh. Oh, go ahead. Go get us another pint. But you've got three here already. As I've already established with you, these are for my real friends. That are that are turning up. I, 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 so it's eight o'clock, that's all right. God, guess another one. Another one. I sent you away ten minutes ago. I'm thirsty. There was a queue. A queue? A queue? A lot of bollocks I've ever heard it. Come. Oh, fuck it. Oh, that looks nice. That looks lovely. Look at those. All lined up special. I don't seem to have any girl.
So, that's it been today. I've been Wolfgang, you've seen my Wolfgang. And yeah, that's what made you who I am today, so recognize.